I'm Matt. Um, I'm farming here with my, my wife Kim. Uh, we've been in the Pupu district for three years now. Uh, we were fortunate enough to lease Kim's family farm. It's been in the family for 75 years. Uh, there's 500 hectares there, uh, 430 effective. Well, we're in the, uh, the Waitomo district. Um, Wai for water and Tomo for Tomo. Big, big hole. Uh, the holes are caused by these the limestone rocks. Um, they're beautiful to look at, but they're a pain in the ass to farm. Uh, we have 2,600 ewes, uh, 600 hoggets. Uh, we lamb about 150%. We have about four, five hundred head of cattle. It's a well set up farm, been well farmed for the last 20 or 30 years. Um, the one issue we've had with it is the fact it's had a petrol, a petrol pump and because it's now six and a half k's from our house, we've, I've been sick of coming down and filling up with petrol every day. Uh, we've looked at solar and wind and hydro and a whole lot of different options and at the end of the day we've settled on a, a water ram. Uh, we figured we needed about 30,000 litres of water a day during the peak summer period to, to effectively farm this, this farm. Okay, so here we are in Pew Pew and uh, we've just got the digger working up here and we're just starting on uh, a brand new site, brand new installation today. We're gonna dig a, uh, a site that's about three meters in diameter and the ramp pump's going to sit in the centre of that, so it's going to be a bold shape. Okay, so we're just wrapping up day one, and uh, what we've got in is the ramp pump base, right down the bottom there. We've got 10 lengths of drive pipe, all uh, joined together, rotary seals, bolts done up tight, and then we've got the surge tank just in situ, just up the top here. So tomorrow, we've got four and a half cubic meters of concrete coming. We'll put some mesh in, of course, and yeah, you'll see what we're doing tomorrow. So catch you there. Okay, so uh, the next job will be putting on the rubber joiner from the surge tank uh, to the drive pipe. Once we've got all this hooked up here, uh, it'll be down to the ram pump base where we'll be concreting that in. On our third day of this installation and we've just put water onto this feed pipe here and we're just going to put some dirt around the surge tank and just hold that a little more just finish off around there and then we're going to turn the tap on and then what we'll do is we'll bolt up the waste valve store valve and pressure tank and then hook up our delivery line going up the hill and then set it alight and see what we got What we're doing here is Domo is going to demonstrate how to um, start a ramp pump up for the first time. So this is the first time that we're going to kick this thing into life, and um, you know he'll need to do that possibly a you know half a dozen times or so. I'm not too sure, but we'll see. There you go. Yep, let it go. That's it. So
Domo and I have just cranked up this Rampo 400. Uh, so I'll give you some statistics working off the Ramp Funk Feasibility Survey. And we're pumping up 145 vertical metres to a storage tank. The distance that the water is travelling is 1,000 metres, one kilometre. The fall we've got from the surge tank down to the ramp pump is 14 and a half metres and the length of the drive pipe is 58 metres long. So this is a Rampo 400, like I said, it's a four inch ramp pump, four inch drive pipe. The delivery pipe running out of there up to the storage tank is 63 mil OD and this pump will pump 55,000 litres a day.